Hi, this is Stephen from Mona Disso. Well, last year, AMD with the Ryzen 5000 Zen 3 CPUs were all the rage for laptops. Compared to the 11th gen, they offered similar performance, but with lower power, better thermals, and better battery life. This year, Intel uh, 12th gen general dominates the segment because of the improved single core performance and much better uh, multi-threaded performance by nature of their efficiency cores. But the power is still high needing about 110 watts to make it really shine. And battery life, you know, is even worse. At 70 watts, the i7-12700H scored 14,209 in the multi-thread Cinebench R23 test. Whilst the Ryzen 7 5800H scored 12,606, also at 70 watts. That is a 13% improvement using 25% more threads. As for single core performance, the 5800H uses 18 watts to get a score of 1,345 points. Whilst using the i7-12800HX in the MSI GE67HX, which I also set to 18 watts, scored 1,445 points. So that's, that is a 7% improvement at the same power. AMD says that their Zen 4 7000 series CPUs will have a 29% single core performance boost by nature of its boost clock increasing substantially. Now in the case of the 7950X, an 800 megahertz increase over the 5950X. Now for this to happen, AMD increases the TDP from 105 watts to 170 watts. That's a 62% jump in power. Now could they do the same for mobile 7700H? A jump say from 45 watts on the 5800H to 73 watts on the 7700H? I think that is possible when you consider the 12700H goes up to about 115 watts. The extra single core boost would definitely help in gaming. Increasing the 18 watt power of the 5800H by the 62% to simulate what the 7700H would pull, so we get 29 watts and the corresponding 29% boost to its score, we get 1735 points. Running the 12800HX also at 29 watts scores 1791, so basically that's a tie which isn't bad at all. But of course, Intel's Raptor Lake 13th gen will be upon us soon, and seemingly the improvement in single core performance is 14%. So that would give 2,041 points at 29 watts, which is some 18% faster than Zen 4 at the same power. AMD showed that this boost in single core performance at 1080p across four games led to a 22% gain in frame rate. Now there's no mention of the GPU tested, but I do imagine it must be the flagship 6950XT. So one can expect a lower increase on mobile, even with the new RDNA 3 and RTX 4000 series coming up. Possibly up to a 10% gain in as my guess at 1080p, and even less at the ever more popular QHD resolution. The rest of the product stack, 7600X, 6 cores, 12 threads, costs uh, $299. The 8-core 16-thread 7700X costs $399. The 12-core 24-thread 7900X costs $549. And the 16-core 32-thread 7950X costs $699. And across five games at 1080p using high settings, they said this 7600X was about 5% faster on average. Now, aside from gaming, AMD touted Zen 4's improved rendering performance. With the 32-thread 7950X beating the 24-thread 12900K by 62% in the V-Ray benchmark. So if both had the same number of threads, Zen 4 should be about 30% faster. Now this is great news for content creators. But I think the big takeaway from Zen 4 is its power efficiency. AMD is saying its performance per watt is 40% more efficient than Alder Lake. And compared to Zen 3, some huge efficiency gains, which is excellent news for laptops. I think this slide is more relevant for laptops uh, than desktop users. Because to be fair, the cooling capabilities of desktops are so much greater. Now my 5800H is a 45 watt part. Imagine if this 7700H mobile chip can run at 65 watts. We'll see yeah, even greater than 75% performance per watt shown here. In truth, there is no reason why they cannot put the full 105 watt 7700H in a 15 inch or larger laptop because that is basically what Intel is doing now. Then you have those Clevo chassis that put in a desktop chip. Imagine an underclocked 7950X in there, you know, running at, say, 115 watts. That would be one hell of a machine. But also, 
How about for even lighter and smaller 14 inch and 13 inch laptops, such as the Asus G14? This extra performance for what should allow these designs to run Ryzen, since Raptor Lake uses the same Intel 7 process node as Alder Lake. And let's not forget battery life. Alder Lake has been terrible for laptop uh, battery life. Now a 99 watt hour battery in a gaming laptop would see about 6 to 7 hours of runtime using the Intel 10th ten, uh, gen. Now with the 12th gen you are lucky to scrape 5 hours I would say. And on the other hand Ryzen has always provided better battery life. And now with the increase in performance per watt a gamer could have his, yep, could have his cake and eat it. Now I would also like to see their 3D cache. Now will that be implemented in mobile CPUs? I really hope so, as this has proven to be very positive for gaming. Now let me know in the comments what you think the effects of Zen 4 um, will have on uh, the mobile gaming laptops. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.